Good afternoon, kids. How are you today? I'm a little late in getting this one done today, but that's okay. Last week, we learned about the creation of the world. God created everything we see in the world. And then we learned about him making man, Adam and Eve, and woman. So it's Adam and Eve. Adam was the man, and Eve was the woman. And we talked about the garden that he created for Adam to... Um, you know, take care of and live in. Him and Eve lived in that garden. Well, of course, we know that the devil come along. Satan is a serpent. He was a little snake up in the tree, and he talked Eve into um, hmm, eating the forget forbidden fruit. That's right. It wasn't an apple that we know of. It wasn't an orange. We don't know what it was. Only God knows and Adam and Eve. But it was called the forbidden fruit. So we do know it was not supposed to be eaten. So it wasn't supposed to, they, they weren't supposed to eat that fruit. Okay, so now what we're going to learn is, you know, when it happened, they, they hid from God. Um, and here's the bad part. When they hid from God, they didn't think God could find them. But God can see all of us. He sees everything we do. He knows everything we say and everything we think. So we can never be away from God. He sees and knows all. So anyway, Adam and Eve heard God calling to them. And God was asking, Adam, where are you? And then Adam told God, he said, we're hiding because we're afraid. So he asked Adam, he said, what did you do? Eat the fruit? I told you not to eat. See, God already knew, but he wanted to see if Adam would tell him the truth. And he said, Eve gave me the fruit. She ate it first. So first, Adam did. He blames Eve. <laughs> That's easy for us all to do. Then, oh, well, I didn't do it. He did it. Or I didn't do it. She did it. You know, it's easy to put that blame on somebody else. And then God said, Eve, what have you done? And she said, the evil one tricked me, which she's talking about. Satan tricked her into doing that. He told me I, I would not die. He told me I would be as wise as you are. And see, that was why God didn't want them to eat that fruit. Because, yes, it was a fruit where they would, our eyes would be open. They would see all things, but not the way they needed to see it with the love of God. And that's when the sin of the world started, was when Eve and Adam ate the fruit. Adam and Eve were ashamed of what they had done, so that's why they were hiding. They, they knew that they shouldn't have done it. They felt terrible. Just like when we do something we're not supposed to do, we feel bad. You know, if, if we lie, sometimes we know, oh no, we're going to get caught. So we're always worried about that. And if you say something to hurt somebody's feelings... You feel bad. And when you do stuff your mommy and daddy tells you not to do, sometimes you feel bad or you should feel bad because you went against them. But you're supposed to obey your mommy and daddy. So it makes it really hard when you don't. So that's one thing you really want to do is listen to your mom and dad. Then you don't feel bad like Adam and Eve did. So as they was ashamed of what they had done, they had disobeyed God. Then God said to the evil one, you have done a bad thing. God told Adam and Eve, now you will have to leave Eden, the Garden of Eden. They had to leave and work very hard. It was a very sad day for them. That's why now we have to work hard to have anything that we want in this world. More so than what we need. God always provides what we need. and But he wants us to work for it. We're not to be lazy. We're not to sit around and do nothing. You know, we're to work for it. It's not that mommy and daddy should do everything for us. We have a responsibility as children to learn how to do things and help our parents. And that's why we're supposed to do that. We don't always do that. But we should. And we learn this a little bit when we get older. When we really have to do everything ourselves. Because mommy and daddy aren't there to help us when we get to be adults. Then we learn how hard our mommy and daddy worked. And sometimes we think, wow, I should have listened to my mom. I should have li listened to my dad because they really had it rough. And I didn't make it easy for them because I didn't help them. So that's why we need to help our mommy and daddies and do, do things that they ask us to do. And learn to be independent and do things that you need to learn to do. You know, when I had my stepdaughters, I taught them how to 
He washed clothes. I taught him how to vacuum. I wanted to know these things because eventually, if I wasn't in their life, and I, you know, I became to that time, I wasn't in their life anymore. And they knew as they got older and became women how to do these things. So that's why you really need to learn as much as you can growing up and pay attention to what mommy and daddy is doing and watch what they do sometimes and ask them, can I help you? And you let them teach you how to do those things. But you know, every time we disobey God, it causes us trouble. Every time. And now, you know, here's poor Adam and Eve. They had to leave the garden because they didn't listen to God. We have a loving God who loves us very much and he wants us to do what we're supposed to do for him because he loves us. So remember that. And just remember that um, God loves you. And we are studying today Genesis chapter 3 and it's, uh, it was verses 8 through 23. So if you have a little Bible and your parents, you know, or you can't, and your parents can read it to you. That way you'll hear more about what's actually happened. This is just a little summary of what's stuff. So what we need to do is tell ourselves, I will obey God and receive his blessings. Because when we listen to God, he gives us lots of blessings. And we don't sometimes, things that's just not good for us. It's not the things we want in this world are important. It's the things we need like food and water and clothing and you know, a roof over our head and a home and a car to go to work in and that kind of stuff in the job so that we can afford to get things that we need, not so much our wants, because there's lots we can want in this world and it's not good for us. But anyway, that's what Mrs. Linda here for you today. And she told you this little story about what happened. And, you know, now, unfortunately, they have to go out and work very hard and um, just to go out into the world you know just like when we leave home when we get older and have to go out to the world we have to work your mommy and daddies have to work you know so that's all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this little message and I hope you learn to obey God listen to his word and listen to your mommy and daddy okay well Miss Linda loves you and you all have a fantastic day and I hope all is going well love you all bye bye